You're living in your own world. I know I'm right. And this is a fight against the hoax machine. It's a fight against the mainstream media. It's a fight against globalism. It's a fight against all the corruption we've seen. The Republican Party establishment, the Bushes, the mass graves, the dead children, the sanctions, the wars. I mean, Trump last night was so genuine. You tell you got down to real Trump last night when she's like, eh, you're with the Russians. He goes, I don't even know the Russians. I have nothing to do with the Russians. But why would we want to have a war with them? They're not doing anything to us. We need to link up and defeat radical Islam with them. And she's the one launching the modern jihad. She knows full well. Here, here he is trying to stop World War III. Hillary and her people are trying to start a war with Russia. They admit they are. They're trying to overthrow it internally. The Soros' group. It's on record. And here's this guy going, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I don't want to have war with Russia. Does I mean I work for him? What's your problem? You're a despicable person. So I, when I was Secretary of State, advocated, and I advocate today, a no-fly zone and safe zones. We need some leverage with the Russians uh, because they're not going to uh, come to the negotiating table for a diplomatic uh, resolution unless there is some leverage over them. Syria. What about the option of controlling the airspace so that, that barrel bombs cannot be dropped? All, all the options. Uh, they, what do you think of that option, sir? Uh, right now, Senator, for us to control all of the airspace in Syria would require us to go to war against Syria and Russia. That's a pretty fundamental decision that certainly I'm not going to make. So I, when I was Secretary of State, advocated and I advocate today a no-fly zone and safe zones. And I disagree. I disagree. You disagree with your running I think we have to man. knock out ISIS. Right now, Syria is fighting ISIS. We have people that want to fight both at the same time. But Syria is no longer Syria. Syria is Russia, and it's Iran, who she made strong. So I, when I was Secretary of State, advocated, and I advocate today, a no-fly zone and safe zones. Just disgusting with flies all over. Big, fat, stinking dick. Imagine how bad she smells, man. I'm told her and Obama just stink, 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 stink. You can't wash that evil off, man. I'm told there's a rotten smell around Hillary. I'm not kidding. People say, they say, the, uh, it, folks, I've been told this by high up folks. They say, listen, Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur. I never said this because the media go crazy with it, but I've, I've talked to people that are in protective details. I mean, they're scared of her. And they say, listen, she's a freaking demon and she stinks and so does Obama. And I go, like what? Sulfur. They smell like hell. I mean, I hate to go down this road, folks, but I'm telling you, we're dealing with demons here. All right? Look at what they do. They go out of their way to do evil things. They keep babies alive and sell their body parts. They involve themselves in every form of wickedness you can imagine. And it's not like flies are landing on them a few times. I mean, if I'm out in the woods doing coverage, sometimes a fly will land. We're talking about in the middle of events, in the middle of the White House, in the middle of, uh, of luncheons in Germany. No one else has flies on them, and there's just flies landing all over them. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to get these clips because these are epic clips. I need to get to them. There is so much unfolding. We're going to get a whole bunch of clips here in just a moment, but we do have Trump on Russia right now, so let's let's start with some of the clips. Since I mentioned that one, let's let's just start there. I don't know, Putin. I think it would be great if we got along with Russia because we could fight ISIS together as an example, but I don't know, Putin. But I notice anytime anything wrong happens, they like to say the Russians, the Russians, she doesn't know if it's the Russians doing the hacking. Maybe there is no hacking. But they always blame Russia. And the reason they blame Russia is because they think they're trying to tarnish me with Russia. I know nothing about Russia. I know I know about Russia, but I know nothing about the inner workings of Russia. I don't deal there. I have no businesses there. And you fools, and I'm not talking to our audience, but the people that make jokes, you know, you know you've bet on pure evil. You know that you're wrong. When I was Secretary of State, advocated... And I advocate today a no-fly zone and safe zone. What about the option of controlling the airspace so that, that barrel bombs cannot be dropped? All, all the options. Uh, they, what do you think of that option, sir? Uh, right now, Senator, for us to control all of the airspace in Syria would require us to go to war 
against Syria and Russia. That's a pretty fundamental decision that certainly I'm not going to make.